Hello and welcome to another video. Today we'll be creating a password generator again, but this time we'll be creating this with Python and Tkinter GUI. Last time we created the password generator that was a command line password generator, but it was built with Node.js. This time I was thinking about the user experience so that the user does not need to put their hands on the code. They can use the GUI where they can just input the number or the length of the password they want the password generated to be, and then press on the generate password button, and then the password will be generated for them. So if you haven't checked this video yet, I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can find this video and it will also pop up in the top right corner of this video. So let's see how it works. So this is the command line and I'll just run the Python file. And you can see that there is the tkinter GUI which is the random password generator and it asks for the number of characters. So let's say that the character count will be 14. And when we press on the generate password, this is a password that has been generated. You can see that there are 14 characters. So I'll just close it and we will get the code. But before that, I just want to ask you that if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified immediately. So let's get to coding. At first, let's create a Python script and let's name it script.py. We don't need any sort of de dependencies to be installed. That's why we are not creating a virtual environment. This is just a basic script. We'll just start coding right now. We need to import random. And as we, as I said that we will be using the tkinter GUI, so we need to import that as well. So from tkinter import asterisk. Okay, now let's just specify the window or the GUI widget that we will be using. So let's name it root and this is a tkinter GUI. Let's give it a title. This is optional, totally you can ignore it if you want, but I'll just give it and we'll name it random password generator. All right. And we will specify the dimension of this window. So it will be root.geometry. And let's go for a 450 to 450. Okay. Now, as I said, that we will be randomly generating a password. A password actually consists of numbers, letters, and special characters that is symbols. So I already have those. So I'll just copy and paste those things. As you can see, alpha contains all the alphabets, the, the small letters and the capital letters as well. The numbers, these are the numbers and symbols. These are the special characters. Okay, so now what we need to do is combine them or concap them in a single string. So I'll just write character equals alpha plus numbers plus symbols. All right. Okay, now let's prepare the content that will be inside the ticket GUI. The first thing will be the label. So let's name it label characters equals. This is a label and it belongs to root. The text inside the label will be number of characters. It's not necessary to specify the font, but we will just do it. And I'll be using a font. The font will be, we'll just write Arial. And the size of the letters will be 12. And what we need to do after that is we need to pack it. And here as well, I'll just give a padding of in the X axis, but that's not necessary. So I'll just put pad X. I'll just give it a 10. Okay. The next thing we will be doing is creating the entry box, the entry widget. So I will write character length. This is the this is a variable that means we will be capturing the character length that will be specified in the GUI here. So I'll just name it character length, and this will be an entry to the root. And here as well, we'll just select a font. I'll just make it a little bit bigger. So Arial 14 will be enough. You know, and what we need to do is we need to pack it so character length pack and inside pack i will also just give a padding uh, once again this is not necessary 
Okay. So the next thing we will be doing is we will be creating a button. And the button will belong to root. Then the text in the button will be generate password. And the command will be, we'll be creating the function after we write this line. The command will be generate password. And again, I will be specifying some fonts. This will be Arial. And the size will be 12. Okay, and finally, I'll just pack this. And also, I will be using a pad, that is 10. Padding on the x-axis, so we'll just put it there. And the next thing that we need is just below the button, the password password will be generated. So we need a label there. Label password. Actually, this is an empty label. Just the characters will be printed out with a string or something. So you will see as we go on developing. So the thing is, label password equals label belongs to root. And the font will be, once again, Arial. And we'll go for 12 again. And we will just pack it. Label password start pack. We don't need any more padding here. But if you want to, if you can use it anyways. That doesn't make any difference. And we need to write root.mainloop, otherwise you will never get the GUI. Okay. Now, the thing is, as we said, that we have a generate password function to be created, so we need to define this just above the button. Define generate password. Okay, so the thing is, what we will be capturing is the length. So let's just name a variable called length. And this will be the character length that we'll be capturing from the GUI. And we need to put get as well so that we can get the value. Then we will have a password variable where we will join random dot sample here we will put in the characters that is actually the letters the numbers the symbols these combine the characters so we'll put the characters and we will also put the length that is the length that we are capturing from the GUI and remember that the value that we are capturing from the GUI are usually a string type the second parameter inside sample needs to be an integer but the value that we are getting here, the length value is a string value. That's why we need to type cast it into an integer. So we write int. Okay. So we have our password to be generated. And then what we need to do is we need to display this password in the GUI. So what we need to do is label password.config. And we need to put a text. The text will go like generated password and the generated password will be password all right we'll just save it now let's open up the terminal and let's run this file so we type python script.pile if we run it you can see random password generator the number of characters wanted and we will just put the character to like nine and generate password this is the generated password that is nine characters long so that's it for the video i hope you have enjoyed this if you find this video useful be sure to like share and comment on this video about what you thought and if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified immediately. And I'll see you in a future video. Till then, goodbye.